meditate, you close your eyes and you watch your breath. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths and see how that feels. If deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Make it more shallow, shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Try to get in touch with the breath energy in the body. Because when we talk about breath, we're talking about the energy that brings the air in the lungs and then allows it to go out. The air on its own wouldn't do that. There's an energy in the body that makes that happen, and we're trying to get in touch with how that feels. Because that energy shapes how you are experiencing your body in all parts of the body, and your experience of the body is going to have an impact on your mood, an impact on your attitudes to things around you as well. If the energy is awkward or the energy is tight and uncomfortable, you're going to feel irritable. And then when you start speaking and thinking and doing things, it's going to come out of irritation, which you don't want. What you want to do is to come from a position of strength, and this is what the breath provides, a sense of well-being right here where you're really solid. And nobody else can take it away from you. Nobody else can come in and squeeze your breath or stop your breath unless they kill you. But as long as you're alive, you've still got the breath to work with. So take advantage of that. It's one of the few bodily processes you have some control over. This gives the mind a good foundation. When it's got a good foundation, then it can see itself clearly. You can see the movements of the mind in ways that you couldn't see before. It's like the difference between running around and standing still. If you ran around the monastery and then someone asked you to give a detailed report, you could report a few things. But to really see things clearly, you have to go and stand in one spot for a while, stand in another spot for a while, and be very still. And then you start seeing a lot of details you would have missed when they were just a blur as you ran past. So to see your own mind, to understand your own mind, and get some control over the mind's thoughts, you've got to get it still with a sense of well-being right here in the present moment, because this is where you want to watch it, is in the present moment. You can't watch it in the past. You can't watch it in the future. You can watch it in action right now. And this is where you can make a difference, is also right now. So try to get used to being here right now, not wandering off after whatever comes through the mind. Then you find that your mind has a much better foundation. When your mind has a better foundation, your whole life has a better foundation. You benefit and the people around you benefit as well. There's less greed, aversion, and delusion in your mind. You're not the only one who benefits. <laughs>